could we see Tessa Blanchard on Impact Wrestling? This is BQ when I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake. Hey there, if it's your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. This is the Impact Lounge, newly christened the Impact Lounge, which was previously the King of the Mountain podcast channel. But if it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button. This is the number one home for positive talk for Impact Wrestling fans. Hit that thumbs up as well, and happy to have you aboard. If you're returning and listening, and you listen to me every day, welcome back once again. So according to Pro Wrestling Insider, Impact Wrestling does have their eye on Tessa Blanchard. And if they're able to work something out with her, it, the earliest she would show up, obviously, uh, would be postbound for glory, possibly at that set of tapings. Now, this was this is kind of one of those rumors that I like reading, but I'm kind of taking with a grain of salt. Um, just because just because the imp the uh, company has interest in somebody, it, it doesn't always mean it, it's going to work out. This is something I do hope comes to fruition because I think she's really, truly one of the most talented workers on the independent circuit. Very natural in the ring. And uh, I think she might have a history of rubbing people the, the wrong way. But, I mean, it's been a couple of years since I've, I've read that kind of stuff about her. But And I don't know how accurate that is. And uh, someone, some of you guys will have to let me know if you, um, if you currently watch an NXT product. I know a couple of years ago when I watched, they uh, they used her as a jobber a few times, and it was kind of funny because it would be that was a time where they were using like Rachel Ellering and Santana Garrett as like jobbers to women that were like inferior to them. And uh, I know they used her in that capacity a few times, and I know, and apparently she had a really good match in a women's tournament, so she's really good. Um, but my personal opinion, and this may not sit well with the Impact Wrestling fans, so you know I kind of apologize, but it's my opinion. Um, I don't think I, I don't think they have a shot at really landing her unless she fully believes that NXT doesn't want her. Um, I, I I have to believe that's kind of her goal, as much as she's been like in and out of the company working with them. And if they have no interest in her, then I think um, I think we got a shot. Uh, now, of course, I still I still fully believe in the knockouts division, and I want you know I want I want I want women to look at it and say this is the number one division I come and wrestle in. But you know, I'm being kind of realistic at the same time. She is very talented, though. She has she's had some really good matches with Rachel Ellering on the independent circuit. I don't know how many of those matches are on YouTube, but I know they've had matches Wrestle Circus, Shine. I mean. Uh, want to say AEW or whatever one of the uh, promotions in Chicago but um, real we're just real natural in the ring real gifted and uh, this would be this would be a great signing I want to know what you guys think though because the knockouts division is pretty top heavy as far as we've got six or seven main knockouts so there's a six knockouts in the tag match this week on uh, victory road and Laurel Van S so it's you know about seven uh, top heavy one, uh, knockouts and then you know, you've got uh, Ava and MJ and Alicia kind of fighting for TV time. And then you're supposed to factor in Kira Hogan and and uh, Hanaya. However, they are uh, going to be named when they join the company, which I think will probably be in 2018 sometime. I, I don't see them showing up at the Bound for Glory tapings. I mean, after Bound for Glory, I should say. But I do want to know if you guys think this would be a really good addition. We want We want lots of good talent in the division but we don't want to um we don't want to bloat the division if they're not going to give the division time on tv so you know as i said there's there's a few women still kind of fighting for spots do we bring someone this talented in and what do they do with her now back in the end of the dixie carter era they did a really good job of finding work for the females even if they weren't actively wrestling so um you know Allie was doing her shtick and uh, Raquel was doing her thing with the bromance, even though she wasn't competing a whole lot. Rosemary wasn't competing a whole lot for a while, but she was, you know, linked up with the decay. And there was a few females that were, they just found something to do with them. And they haven't really found that magic so far as finding uh, work for a, few, for a few of these ladies. But, you know, if they can make it happen and, and really get these uh, ladies involved, then I think this is a tremendous signing. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, with this, all, with all this being said, I, you know, kind of seen some Twitter rumblings 
where people were saying, well, if they're bringing her, that means they want to bring Ricochet. I, you know, again, I'm being realistic here, and I hope people can respect that about me where, to where I'm not being, you know, a fanboy all the time. I don't think Ricochet has any interest in coming to Impact Wrestling. I know he watches it. I know there he says good things about it and about the X Division, and he has friends in the company. So I don't mean he's... um you know, big leaguing them by any means or, you know, uh, putting them down. But, you know, we're really talking one of the most uh, impressive athletes in the world right now. And I just, I personally do not think that's a realistic goal, a uh, realistic get, I should say. So I don't, I don't link the two together in any way. But um, this, the, as, as far as Tessa this is something I really would like to see happen, but they got to kind of fix the knockouts division at the same time. So I want, I want to know what you guys think in the comments, if this is someone you want to see come aboard, or if you want just more focus on the current knockouts, obviously Gail Kim's going to be done at the end of the year, but you know, um, there's, there's some other women waiting in the wings to uh, really get their chance to shine. So I want to know what you guys think. Thanks for swinging by the channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hope you guys have a good one.